Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can use a form to add data in your MySQL database automatically. So here we have taken the example of type form and let me show you how this is going to work. So here as in when any person is going to fill the data and submit the form, according to the data that has been filled here in this form, a new row will be added in your MySQL database automatically. So uh, you need not to directly enter the data here manually. You just have to create a form and you can spread this form to different type of people uh, from whom you want to collect the data. And as and when they are going to fill this form, you will get their data directly into your database uh, automatically without any manual efforts. Okay, so uh, with this you can uh, effectively use your database effectively track the record of your database and it will surely save a huge amount of time of yours and to create this automation we are using Pabli connect which is an integration and automation tool and the best part is you can create this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge so let's set up this automation together so first of all, log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. OK, so quickly set up your account and log in and reach here. So after reaching here, you have to create a workflow of automation. And to do that, just click here on this create workflow button and now you can give a suitable name to your workflow here so you can give any suitable name according to you i'm giving the name here as type form to type form to so after filling this name you just have to click here on this create button and you can see your workflow is getting created here like this okay and here you will find the trigger and the action so this automation work on these things so the trigger is the happening of an event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new form submission received from type form and the action would be uh, to add the data uh, to add the data that you have received from the form submission in MySQL database. Okay, so first of all, you have to set up this trigger here. So from this choose app field, choose the trigger application, which is type form okay and in the trigger event you have to select new entry option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with type form and guys uh, it will bring you to this window the login window of uh, type form if you are not logged in as i have already logged in in my type form application it is just asking to give Pabli connect a few accesses so just uh, click on accept here and we will be connected with type form. So you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected and now it is asking for the forms name. So uh, my form is here. You can see this is the form I have created. The name of this form is customer form. So you have to select this form from this list, select the form and click on save and send test request and it will start showing waiting for the response. So now you have to perform a test submission. This means you have to fill the form on behalf of any demo user or demo customer. And uh, we are going to fetch or capture the details of that form submission here. Okay, so this is my form. Let me fill the form here. So I am filling the form and the name of the person who is filling the form is Andrew Smith. Then uh, the email address of this person is this. The phone number is this. Okay, so form is submitted. You can see the form is submitted. Now let's check in Pabli Connect if we got the details of this form submission. And here you can see we have received the response like this. And it is showing the details of the form submission uh, like this. You can see the title of the form is here. And this person has filled this form. The name is here. The email is here. The phone number is here. Okay. So these are the three fields that I have in form and we got the details here. 
now i want to add these details in my database here in my sql application and here i have created a table named as customer data table okay so this is customer data table under this uh, database so to add the data here just click on this action step and from this choose a field search for my sql select it and select the action event now which is insert row click on insert row then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it will ask for these things the database username the database password the host name the database again and the port name so you have to fill all these things and let me fill these things so guys i have filled all these things here you can see the database username the database password the host address the database's name and the port number and you can find all these things inside your mysql's dashboard or in your account setup okay and you can fill these things and just click on save after that so as you can see we are now connected and now it is asking for the table's name so here i have this table name of the table is customer underscore data so you have to select your uh, table's name from this list this is it select it okay and now it will show you all these things the id the name and the email and the mobile number so i am going to map this data from this first step okay so we have received the, uh, the data from type form here like this so from here only we can map the data so for the id let's check what is in the id So guys, for the ID, I'm going to use this form response token label here. Uh, we have received in the first step. So to map it here, just click on this ID field and you will find this type form option in the dropdown. And from here only, I'm going to map this uh, response token, form response token, okay. And in the name, I'm going to map the name from this type form step only. So you'll find the name of the person here like this and the email address of the person you will find it here when you scroll down you will find the email this is the email and the mobile number you will also find from this first step only so this is the phone number okay so we are done mapping the data so now you can check your connection with mysql application here is the table and here i have these two rows let me click on save and send test request now and we'll see a new row added like this uh, so it is the response is success let me show you in this uh, table i'm refreshing the table here and you can see we got a new row added uh, with this data this is the id this is the name and this is the email and this is the number so this is how it is going to work in real time guys so we are done setting up this automation so first of all i have a connected type form in the trigger with a new entry as the trigger event and fetch and captured the data of a demo form submission here like this after that i connected my sql application and map the data like this so when you map the data what will happen whenever you receive a new form submission this data is going to change and a new row will be added in your table let me show you a real time example guys so uh, let me open my form again and let me fill the form again here so uh, let's say this time uh, the form is filled by uh, the person who is filling the form is mr brett lee and this is the email address of this person okay and this is the phone number okay and you can see the form is submitted now let me show you directly in mysql application if we got a new row added so here uh, is my database let me refresh the table and you can see we got a fourth row added here automatically with these credentials brightly and this email and this name okay so our automation is working really fine here and guys the best part is you can use this same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application 
please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel